Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in this series of tutorials, we will be looking uh, about a very uh, special tool that is called Talent and that's an open source ETL tool that we have. Uh, we have other tools as well in the market like Informatica, Pentaho, etc. So in this series, we will be looking at uh, what is Talent and how we can utilize it to uh, perform our ETL operations. Uh, so uh, let us first understand like what is ETL. So as the name itself suggests uh, that ETL stands for extract, transform and load. So extraction means uh, taking the data from some sources. Transformation means applying some, uh, you know, cleansing operations and making the data ready for the target system. And loading means getting that data loaded into the <coughs> target systems. Okay. So you read the second point the data gets extracted via various heterogeneous sources so those sources can be anything like uh, mainframe or xml's or flat files and then the transformation is applied into understandable format the extracted data uh, is used to take the business decisions that are used uh, or that are critical for the organizations right so uh, the data is extracted from various sources like flat files xml files rdbms's and it is converted to the requirement specific formats uh, where various methods are taken into account you know like deduplication means removing of the uh, duplicate values uh, filtering out uh, uh, suppose you don't do not want any of the columns uh, going further so that kind of filtering out the values on the columns uh, conversions like uh, you know converting from two decimal to uh, single decimal or any other types of conversions that we will see later in the uh, coming tutorials uh, then comes sorting into a particular order if you want uh, the data to be getting sorted into an order so that can be you know utilized uh, by using this terminology that is ETL and uh, then translations like uh, translating some values into a uh, meaningful information etc like that so after the transformation happens the data is finally loaded into the target system so that system may be your database or any other uh, system it can be data mart as well so let us see a small diagram to understand that okay so uh, this is the image that i've taken from google so which depicts the extraction transformation and loading so the diagram is a small diagram and uh, it's very clear uh, depicting about the extraction from the different sources uh, getting it uh, transformed and finally loading into the data warehouse okay so uh, let's go to the next slide uh, okay so uh, this is uh, where we will see like uh, what is talent and uh, what are the you know uh, different uh, tools uh, that uh, talent provides and uh, about the TOSDI that is uh, talent open studio data integrator tool that uh, we will be looking into uh, the later tutorials okay so let's read it out uh, when the data from various sources is combined into one it is called data integration and uh, talent is one of the powerful data integration tools available so it's an open source tool uh, that is available it has paid versions as well but the good thing is uh, talent provides you with the talent open source data integrator that you can utilize uh, for uh, your project uh, pertaining to ETL uh, terminology okay so uh, the uh, the line reads as it's, it is a group of specialized tools as mentioned below so there are different tools uh, uh, present in talent so it, it provides the tool open studio for data integration that we will be seeing in the coming tutorials uh, it provides you with the open studio for big data as well then uh, it provides uh, open studio for esb and data quality as well uh, stitch data loader etc so these are you know a group of specialized tools and uh, tos di is one of them so uh, let us look at some of the advantages of uh, talent open studio data integrator so it is a user friendly uh, gui tool uh, very very easy to handle then uh, it is used to map the data between uh, the different sources and targets so there are around you know 900 plus components in the palette so which makes the data transfer task easier so we will uh, see how what all different kind of components components are nothing but you know suppose you want to do a file transformation 
so uh, taking the data or reading the data from a file and converting it or loading it into a database or displaying that data onto the ui that kind of thing so file is one of the component which has different subparts so different operations are present in the palette uh, then a talent provides the metadata repository that is provided uh, to uh, used uh, you know for repurpose and restructuring uh, talent helps to cleanse the data and makes it more meaningful and it is a productive and efficient open source tool as compared to informatica so informatica is mostly a licensed tool you will not uh, f you know find it free of cost and uh, you have to pay for it uh, for the license but uh, talent of course is providing you an open source tool uh, that you can download and uh, you can practice for your project project okay so these are some of the advantages of uh, talent and i think that's it for uh, this particular uh, session and in the next session uh, we will see how we can install the talent open studio integration uh, on windows so uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial uh, i hope you like the video and uh, if you like the content do subscribe my channel and uh, keep sharing keep learning in life Thank you. Bye-bye.